with our partners at Outside. We have an awesome opportunity for you to check out the series of Outside How-Tos. Here's one for you, so make sure you take a peek. Hey, I'm Ryan Petrie, and today I'm gonna teach you how to ditch the tubes and go tubeless. This is all useful, especially if you ride off-road where traction and lower tire pressures is key, and there's lots of little things that can puncture your tires. So to go tubeless, it's not all that hard. You just need a few things. This is a valve, a tubeless valve. You're gonna need sealant. This goes in the tires. This comes in small bottles and big bottles. You're gonna need a tire lever to get the tire off and then possibly back on again. And a good old fashioned bike pump. So tubeless technology has been around for quite a few years and most newer wheels and tires are tubeless ready but it's always better to make sure so that you can be safe. So first step, take your wheel off your bike and then unscrew the valve, press and let the air out of your tire. Once the air is out of the tire, you're gonna need to take your tire lever and get it underneath the bead of the tire. Once you have it right here, you're gonna slide the lever around and then from there, you can take your fingers get the tire off. So once you've got the tire off the rim, grab the tube, take it out. Okay, now you take your tubeless valve and you find the hole, and you push it in, and on the other side, you thread until it's nice and airtight. So this is the sealant. It's got latex in it, so you wanna make sure you shake it good. So depending on how wide your tire is, you're gonna add different amount. For a road tire, two ounces of sealant, for a gravel tire, three to four, and for a mountain bike, four to six ounces of sealant. So now that the sealant's in your tire, you need to get the tire back on the rim. So I'm rotating slowly and pushing it on. So at the end, make sure that the tire is in the center of the rim to give yourself the most slack. And now you just use your hands to get the tire back on the rim. All right, so the tire's on the rim. Now for the fun part. You grab your pump, hook it up to the valve, and you gotta pump like crazy. You wanna make sure that you're pumping really fast to try to get a burst of air into the tire. So your heart rate's up, you heard some loud bangs. That's actually the bead of the tire fitting in seamlessly with the rim. That's what creates the airtight seal that allows you to go without a tube. So once you've heard some bangs and some pops, you wanna to look to make sure that the whole tire is on the rim. A lot of times there's a little line, and if that whole line is exposed, you're good to go. Generally going tubeless is pretty easy, but there are times where it's a little bit tricky to get the air into the tire fast enough to make it seal onto the rim. If you're having a hard time, you can take a CO2 and a CO2 head from your flat kit and put it onto the tire and get a faster rush of air and that can help seat the tire onto the rim. The alternate to that is using an air compressor. You might have to visit your local bike shop to do this or maybe you have an air compressor at home from some construction projects. Now that you've ditched the tube, you can put your wheel back on and head out for a ride.